Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, welcome to Cut the Tape. I'm your host, Rick Alvarez in the world-famous Frame and Picture Shop, located in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. So, uh, I thought today would be a Megatron day. Uh, specifically, talking about Megatron collectible figure from La Utkrati and Meg Tyranno MB-17 from uh, Fans Hobby. Fans, people have fans as hobbies. I have several fans in my home. All right, so the Loot Crate exclusive Megatron figure. It's got the original Megatron artwork on the back. From what I remember, this was a pretty stylized figure. It's a little statue. I don't think it's posable at all. Let's take a look. Oh. So here it is. It's, uh, it is a static figure. Does It does have some movement in the arms, just rotating. But it is a very, very stylized figure. You know, this figure, even though it came before, I think it came before, it's, um, it's reminiscent of the uh, artwork that Josh does on the IDW Beast Wars series. Here's the front, here's the back. It's got a little base here so he can stand. Does it work? Hey, it works. I, I don't typically like the, the cute stuff. I don't, I don't like it when, when things are happy and cute and stuff for Transformers. Bot Bots is an exception because that's the brand. That is, that world is designed for that. I don't like it when you take a character that is supposed to be vicious and brutal and you make a little cute super deformed out of it. I mean, I still get them, you know, for brand awareness and collecting purposes. But a lot of those times I feel forced into buying those. And, uh, it really makes me question, why, why am I spending money on it? So there's no paperwork with this. Loot Crate is a subscription that you do, and every month you get a blind box of stuff. I think there's other stuff like keychains and t-shirts and stuff, but this was the figure of that month's Loot Crate. It says 2021 on it. I don't know what month it was. But... I mean, hey, it's, we don't get a whole lot of officially licensed Beast War stuff, so I'll take what I can get, you know? He does have that square head that's like, almost reminds me of like a Scramble City combiner. Pardon, Gestalt. All right, so third-party Masterpiece Megatron. It looks like an Armada box, right? I mean, it's got... It's got the same colors, it's got, it's got designs inspired by Armada, right? Luckily, it doesn't have that curve that the Armada boxes have. It's a, it's a rectangle, it's a square box. Thank goodness. So, we've got a luminous eyes, optional faceplate and horns included. Excellent. So you can go toy accurate or you can go show accurate with this. Love it. He's got his Minicon in there. What's uh, what's quite daring, they actually show official Minicons, Haztag produced Minicons on the package. I mean, you know, I say daring. I mean, this is, 
It's a third party toy. We all know what this is, you know. There's no rules when it comes to third party. I see people get upset when third party steals images and puts them on their packaging. Yeah, yeah, that happens. But remember, it's the Wild West out there. Anything goes with third party. We've got instruction booklet. We've got a little card and a little side instruction sheet, which I assume they, you know, oh, this is something we need to address after the, after we printed all these. So let's take this guy out. I mean, you know, if you were to look at it from like the aerial view, you could say, oh my gosh, that's a slightly larger Armada Megatron. It does have a very nice weight to it. Leader one specifically is quite large, comparatively speaking. Uh, you know, nice touches where they wrap certain parts in plastic so that in shipping, it doesn't scrape against this plastic, rubbing off the paint. That's um, it's customer care right there. You don't want your, you want your customer to get a mint item. And you don't want your vendors coming back to you complaining about QR issues. Interesting. Oh, I see. We got to put a little battery in this and it lights up. Nice weight. It's got that typical third party plastic feel to it. Not quite cheap, but you can tell that um, if you were to drop this, it would shatter into very sharp pieces. Oh, actual rubber treads that move. Mm, top that, Hasbro. Ooh. I don't know, Aaron. This this is pretty solid, man. I'm digging this. Very nice. Very nice. Now, oh, oh, that's not nice. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play with this. I don't like to use instructions or have to look up on the YouTube ways to transform things. He's got, instead of Minicon ports on the side, I'm seeing, oh, he does have Minicon. Okay, so the Minicon ports actually slide out and they are the five millimeter Minicon ports. So your actual Minicons will work with this. There's also five millimeter pegs so you can take a blaster from any other character and plug it in to various points. So it's not just, it's not just the mini cons that'll go into it. It's also uh, weapons. So I assume once we put the battery, oh, look at that. Oh, all right. So I don't know if you, all right. So by turning this on the back, you get that firing recoil effect. I wonder if there's any spring-loaded stuff. Oh, there it is. So I press that button. These come out. There should be missiles in here. Perhaps. There's a few parts that pop out here. Maybe. Let's see if it transforms 
in an intuitive way, but also in a similar way to the original toy. Now the original toy was already pretty great. Yeah, it didn't have the best articulation. So some nice detail in here, there's um, stickers pre-applied stickers. You got your, your ramps. Oh, you got your little, your little claw thing on the side. All right. I'm sure in here there's going to be some missiles or a knife or something. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. It's, it's all right. So it's a little, you know, a little different. Seems to fall apart very easily. And, uh, well, the, the parts seem to release very easily. Of course, you pop them back on, but that makes me, makes me a tad nervous. All right. Oof. You know, it's one of those things where it's all got to fit perfectly or it's not going to work. Try this one. See, these should fold up, these little toes. These little, little cute baby toes should fold up. Oh, I see. Man, the engineering on the... Uh, sometimes... There's such a thing as over-engineering, all right? You can over-engineer something. So now, you know, another question that pops into my head, will we see a tidal wave? If anyone can pull it off, it's third party. And I have a hard time believing that they would design something like this and not account for the possibility of it doing very well and thus wanting a tidal wave that will combine with this. All right, so, so far, I mean, one thing I've said about third-party figures is that their transformation is just like the engineering just, it hurts my hand. By the time I'm done transforming it, like my arthritis kicks in and I'm like, I've lost all feeling in my hands and it hurts and it's painful. Man, that face is hideous. Oof, uh, that's a butter face. That's a butterface right there. Let's see. Oh, well that popped off very easily. And that one popped off very easily, but they're meant to be interchangeable. So hoping that's not an issue. So instead of having one knife on his arm, he's got two knives. These are the more show accurate horns. So I'm going to stick with those. 
However, let me see this face. Eee, man, that is a butter face. Does that, does that face please come off easily? Uh, I gotta get like a little screwdriver or something. That's annoying. It's annoying when you have to unscrew the head to change the faceplate or the eyes. It is, it is annoying. Now, obviously we're not gonna have the Minicon feature. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. If Haztac can do it, then these guys should be able to do it too. The Minicon feature to make the sword pop off is not there. That's okay. That's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker. It'd be nice if it was there, but it's not a deal breaker. Well, interesting. It's, um, I mean, all the joints are tight, so I'm happy with that. And it's posable, but is it posable in the way that'll allow me to make it stand and have it look natural? These are on backwards. All right. Is it worth $150? That's tough to tell. That's very tough to tell. I mean, if this was a Haztag figure, you know, this would be pushing 200 bucks. For the level of engineering, I had no problem transforming this guy whatsoever. For the level of engineering involved, the feel of the plastic, I would say 150 bucks is fair. I'm not crazy about the price. I'm not as crazy about the figure as I thought I would be. And leader one certainly leaves something to be desired. Though he is more, slightly more articulated than the actual original toy. I didn't get the Armada version of Optimus, and I'm I'm thinking I won't. However, if they make the Energon version of Megatron, and they make a Cybertron version of Megatron, I absolutely would get those. Forsake the Optimus, get the Megatron. What I liked about this weapon, it actually slides into place rather than pegging in. So it's on there. It's, it's definitely on there. It's not coming off. Um, I mean, it's got the, the treads that all move. It's got, you know, it's all, it's reminiscent of the original gimmicks. You know, it's got, it's got stuff, faux parts, you know, not not part forming, but somewhere there's a term between parts forming and ingenious transformation. There's there's a word there. I don't know what that is. Well, 
that's going to be it for cut the tape this week 20 minutes here in and out remember be nice to each other wash your hands cut the tape or don't i don't care uh it takes me a long time to cut the tape on most things so um this guy took me about two weeks before i i finally was able to cut it that being said thank you very much and as always check out the whole tfylp network uh or don't you're you're free to do as you wish all right um peace